In the most frigid climates, Arctic spas will warm your bones, and in the hottest temperatures, they'll cool your jets. We have to make it work at minus 40 in the dead of winter, uh, but it also needs to work at 35 plus when it's hot in the summertime. The Arctic Ocean, the largest pool in the fleet, combines hot tub comfort with playtime and full-on aquatic training. The Arctic Ocean, we initially brought out as a family fun and fitness spa so that people could swim or play or be like a big pool. Up to 61 jets, color LED lights, stereo, and Bluetooth. This is a water park in your own backyard. There's a logic to building all-weather hot tubs in northern Canada, a place where both hot and cold weather extremes are the norm. We build our spas to work in the harshest climates. In Thorsby, Alberta, this all-weather oasis begins with a single sheet of acrylic. At 200 pounds, it's the first step to a 1,600-pound finished pool. We start off building our hot tubs at the vac form, where we take a sheet of acrylic and load it into a vac form. In the vacuum former, the acrylic sheet is heated to 365 degrees. It turns basically kind of into a jelly from a solid piece of acrylic. When the acrylic sheet reaches the jelly state, the magic happens. A vacuum sucks the sheet down into the mold. The acrylic starts at about 3 sixteenths of an inch. By the time the acrylic is stretched down into the mold, some areas are as thin as a sheet of paper. Once it's back formed, we move it into our fiberglass area where we put a coating of fiberglass on it. Three coats of evenly sprayed fiberglass adds another inch of thickness to the shell and 700 pounds to the total weight. We need to make sure that there is some good structure with that just due to the pressure of the water pushing out on the walls. Holding over 1,500 gallons of water, that's a lot of pressure, which makes detecting cracks a crucial QC step. I'm looking for any cracks, defects in the tub. I check first with the lip, and I make sure that there's no flaws, soft holes, anything like that. And I check all the way around the tub. Next, dimples mark the drill points for the jets. The number and placement is checked. So the dimples are in place for the trimmers, so they know where to drill the jets. The holes for jets are cut in the trimming booth. The number of jets is optional. You would have anywhere from 16 jets to 61 jets. Once the holes are drilled, the jets are put in place. These are the jets. They recirculate the water. I'm using the plastic weld gun. I'm going to put the plastic weld around the jet. She's going to stick it inside the tub in the hole. This makes an unbreakable bond that seal the jets to the tub. OK, the next step is we put the filter buckets in. Water is pushed through the filter buckets to make sure the water stays clean. This end's done. At the other end is the clear line station. Clear line is the set of hoses that pump air into the water, giving this bath its bubbles. Clear line, all it does is it brings air in. So it will go from our teeth and our hose through our manifolds and then up into the jet. Once the clear lines have been put in, another spaghetti system of hoses is installed. To cut down on confusion, they're color-coded. White is for water, red for filtration, and dark blue for air pressure. So on our spas, we average about 470 feet of hose per spa. All that hose also connects to what's called the Niagara system. This set of super jets works as a countercurrent, creating resistance in the water, perfect for water sports. We have a Niagara system. It has two big jets that can be directed up, down. I mean, we've had uh, kids on boogie boards and actually surf on the top of the all-weather all pool. The counter current system is strong enough to hold a swimmer stationary. You can also use a tether for training and a rowing attachment. You can uh, be tethered with a, wearing, a, wearing it on your back or around your waist and stuff, and it'll tether you in place. If it's just a big water party you're looking for, Arctic Spas has that covered as well. We'll have a 61 jet spa, and every one of them lights up. The stereo system that actually gives you Masonic massage in addition to the jets. We were one of the first to do that as well. And you can uh, control your spa from your smartphone. Shell, jets, hoses, and all the goodies are ready to go. Another top-of-the-line feature that puts this pool above the rest is a solid cabinet from the finest wood. Our cabinet was designed back in 1992, and we happened on to uh, a supplier that uh, brought in the best cedar 
In our wood shop, we build our walls and we do just a top-notch quality inspection on them. Once the cabinet is crafted, it's time for the patented pressure-stamped fiberglass floor. It's made out of a pressed fiberglass, pressed up to 3,000 tons. 3,000 tons is like being crushed by the weight of a mid-sized submarine. Under that amount of pressure, the fiberglass floor becomes incredibly dense and resilient to outside elements. This fiberglass floor retains the heat as well as keeping the cold out. And also on top of that, it keeps the critters out. Um, mice can't even get through this floor. The weatherproof floor also eliminates the need for any type of foundation like concrete, decking, or blocks. It's got the best floor in the industry. Um, it is suited for any climate, so you can put it anywhere. The floor is one level of protection from extreme climates. The next is a healthy coat of foam insulation. Where there is a robotic arm, it sprays the foam. We put a three inch base all the way around. Three inches of dense foam and a lot of cedar has this cabinet weighing in at 600 pounds. Once we have the foam insulation sprayed into our cabinets, then it moves into our installs area. This is where the people will install the pumps, the packs, heaters. The combination of thick insulation and high efficiency heaters take the electricity cost of running this system down to an average price of a few bucks a day. This is like your motor for your vehicle, okay? And I'm putting all the parts into it and hooking it up. All pumps, packs, and heaters and their connecting cables add roughly 100 pounds to the total weight. What I am doing right now is feeding all the wiring into the pack, all the pumps, all the equipment that's inside. I feed it into the pack and then we hardwire it in. After everything is hardwired, the cabinet is flipped and married up with the shell. Total weight, 1,600 pounds. This make sure it's all nicely squared up. And once they're done with that, they flip the cabinet over right side up. With the base and shell together, the final connections are made, starting with the lights. It's two lights that we're going to hook up down here and run. Then it's the control panel. The top side is how you're going to operate your spa. Turn something on, turn it off, put the lights on a different function. All the hoses and plumbing get their final hookup. Then it's down to final testing. We go around and we check for leaks. We hook up the electrical and get the tub up and running to ensure that all the equipment is functioning properly. Before this man-made hot spring can compete with nature, it needs to pass 136 inspections. I'm looking for any water coming down in out of the jets. I check my unions on my pumps, my heaters, to make sure that they're tight and there's no water coming in out of them. After a passing grade, the removable doors are attached and this pool is ready for anyone anywhere in the world. There is, no, there is no class to hot tubbing. It's for everybody. Arctic spas let you play and relax all year round. On a hot summer day, cool the pool and go for a swim. In the blistering winter, crank the heat and warm your soul. You know, the favorite thing about hot tubs is the family time, I think, because the kids can enjoy it, your wife can enjoy it, and you can enjoy it.